How's everybody doing? My name's Mike and we got Miss Milkshake with us today. So uh, today we're going to practice uh, with Milkshake. We're going to practice her place command and uh, her. we're just going to work on like her daily routine which is just a heel sit uh, routine that we do with them every day to kind of keep them uh, just keep them good at being able to sit and heal and things like that. You have to practice it every day if you want them uh, to be good at. So sometimes we do it outside because it actually helps the dog uh, for inside because there's so many distractions outside, so many smells and other things like that, uh, that the dog's much more excited. So if you can get the dog to stay on place outside, it's going to be much easier inside with them. So I'm going to go ahead and work her a little bit and uh, show you show you what that looks like. All right, girl, heel. Sit. Good girl. Good sit. Every time she sits, when I ask, I can give her affection or tell her good girl. Heel. Sit. Good girl. Heel. Sit. Good girl. Heel. Sit. Good girl. Good job, girl. Heel. Heel. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Good girl, so this is working on her sit, stay, sit, no, sit, she moves, I just give her a little tug, tug, heel, sit, so I'm holding my hand above her, and if she moves when I'm circling around her, I'll just give her a little tug, tug, or even if she begins to move, I will kind of signal to her, hey, stay sitting, sit, sit, no, sit, see how she did that, so I tell her no, and I correct her, then heel, I put her right back in the same spot, Put her right to the same spot. Sit. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand on her head. That's a little trick I learned that will keep the dog uh, sitting still. Sit. Good. Good girl. Good sit. See how that works. So if we find something that doesn't work for the dog, then we try something else uh, that may work. And that's what you just witnessed there is this is what we usually do. But for right now, I need to keep my hand on her head because she's going to move freely if I just use this. It wasn't working as well. So I'll just put my hand on her head. Good girl. Good sit. And I just repeat, good sit while she's doing what I want. Good girl. So now I can actually walk around her as much as I need to to desensitize her to that. And then eventually what I'll do is I'll switch to doing that. A little bit there. A little bit on the leash. A little bit back on the head. Good girl. Good sit. Okay, place. Good girl. So, place. Good girl. Good place. So, place is like a uh, crate without walls. And uh, it's something we can actually use. So, you see her. Hey, you're starting to lick or try to chew the, uh, the bed. We correct him. And again, you see how easy it is to correct the dog. We're not yanking on the leash. We're really just giving a short... Uh, tug to the dog. They're very sensitive. The smaller the dog, usually the more sensitive they're going to be, of course. So, uh, places like a crate without uh, walls, and it's very beneficial in the home. It keeps the dog in one place, so, she, so the dog's not going to be roaming around looking for things to do, like chew things or have uh, potty training accidents. Uh, this is going to keep her more calm. It keeps their body more still. So the more their body's moving, the more excited they're going to be. The more they're laying in one spot, the more calm uh, they're going to be. And uh, so how we call her off a heel, there's two ways to get them in the heel position. You can either turn into it or uh, you can uh, have them come to you. So if I turn into it, it would look like this. Heel. See how I just turned right into it? Sit. Okay, place. And this would be the other way. Okay, heel. It was for her to turn into a good girl, good girl. Place. That's actually what she needs a little work on. Okay, heel. Good girl, good girl. Okay, place. Good girl. Okay, heel. Good girl, good job, good girl. Heel. Sit. Good girl, heel. So if we do a good job, good girl, she should automatically sit for us just from muscle memory. So heel. So if I don't tell her to sit, this particular dog, heel, 
will go ahead and she will do it on her own. Good girl. That's what they call an automatic sit. And what that is, is muscle memory. We're imprinting the sit behavior in into the dog's memory. So even though I'm not saying the word, because of every time I've ever stopped with her, stopped walking, she would then, I would then tell her to sit. So now I simply don't even have to say it. She will just automatically do it. Heel. Good girl. Heel. So if she doesn't do it, then I say sit, and I just pull up a little bit. Heel. Sit. I shouldn't I shouldn't pet her if she didn't do it right. So that was my mistake. I shouldn't pet her. If she does it right, then good girl. Heel. Sit. So you see how she stopped doing it after I stopped saying it. So what that means she still needs is for me to kind of say it for her. Heel. So if I do it the whole way, sit. Good girl. Heel. Sit, heel, sit. She'll do it on her own on the next one. Heel. Nope, sit. So if she doesn't do it, then I have to correct her. Generally, if you do it with them over and over, they'll usually sit on their own. If they don't, then you do just like I did. We take a step back and we start telling them to sit again. Heel, sit. She does not have to automatically sit. If she doesn't do it, then we just tell her to do it. Eventually, the dog will do it uh, on her own if the owner is telling her just like me. Heel. Sit. Good girl. Heel. Sit. Good girl. Heel. Sit. Good girl. Heel. Sit. Good job. Good girl. Okay, place. So she did a pretty good job, you know, if uh, if they don't, like, you know, with the automatic sit, uh, she, for whatever reason, she was, autom as you could see, she was automatically sitting without me saying it. For whatever reason, she stopped sitting, so then we take a step back and we start telling them again. And uh, then eventually you'll see the same thing again, you'll see, hey, so if she tries to make any noise or, hey, I'm not quite sure what she's barking at, it could be, uh, no. So she barks, look, that's all I do, tug, tug. So even if she looks over in that direction, this is good for you guys to see. So if she looks that way, I'll correct her. Because she had a problem with this with the owner. She would bark at uh, uh, when she saw a different dog or something like that. I'm not even quite sure what she's looking at, but there is a dog that uh, is always loose over in my neighbor's yard. So look, we should sit here and correct her. It's not hard, but I'm going to correct her every time she looks in that direction for now. See that? every time because what she's doing is she's trying to focus on something to bark and like I said I don't I don't even see anything so I'm not quite sure why she's doing that but what we do is we correct her look see hey we correct her for even looking in that direction right so this is good so sometimes training sessions uh, go from one thing to another so you see we're working on sit place heel the automatic sit and now we're working on her with with barking at distractions that she should not be barking at, especially once we've told her no. So you'll see if she looks at something and she goes to bark, her ears are going to go up. And like right now, she's not, she's more submissive. She's not going to bark, so her ears are folded back. But you'll notice if soon as she turns around that way, her ears will go up right before she barks. See? <laughs> yeah, good. Good girl. See, she thought about it. She looked, and I missed it. She looked. And uh, she didn't bark, so uh, that's a good girl. Look, watch. So I want to correct her though every time she looks. She needs to understand that hey, you can't just bark. You can't uh, bark at uh, everything you see. And uh, we want to catch the dog. The whole point is we want to catch the dog a few minutes uh, before, or not a few minutes. Sorry, a few steps before she's actually getting excited to the point of where she's uh, barking at someone so if I wait to stop her right I have to get her there because if I wait and let her turn around that's that is going to lead down the road to her barking so uh, m my goal for her is I just got to sit here and keep correcting her and let her know hey you can't do that you know and the way we do it is we do it through a correction with the leash we use the leash to train the dog we don't use a treat so a treat would only get the dog more excited. We use a leash uh, to train her uh, what what we want from her. We want to communicate 
to the dog in a way that the dog understands, trusts, and respects. Uh, with the treats, what you, what that is, is the human understands, trusts, and respects the treats, right? That's why a lot of people want to do it that way. But uh, in my opinion, this is how this is how it has to be done with the leash and correction because the collar she's using is also referred to as a mother's bite. So uh, what I'm doing every time you see me tug is replicating what the mom would do to a pup uh, when they're doing something that is unwanted. So uh, good girl, good job, good place. Because that's what place means too. Place also means hang out there, no nonsense. So that means no barking at things, especially after I've said, hey, whatever that is, isn't a threat. That means she has to stop. Good girl. And I'm saying good girl to her because she's looking at me. Good girl. She's looking at me. She wants, hey, she wants to know what, what I want. What She wants to know what I, what I want. You know, she's looking at me because she wants to know what I want because she knows I don't want that. See? Nice. Good girl. So if she sits there and doesn't bark and looks at me, that's a good girl. Good milkshake. That's a good girl. That's right. Because whenever she was barking at, and again, I still don't, I still don't see what she was barking at. But whenever she's barking at, you know, uh, she has to ignore it. So if she's not barking and looking at me, she's ignoring. Good girl. Good girl, milkshake. Good girl. Good girl. That's right. Good girl. Good girl. So see that? See that right there? She doesn't need to do that. Every time she does that, she's leading herself down a path where she's going to bark. Because she's looking for something to bark at. That's what she's doing right now. Again, I have no idea what she's barking at. But whatever it is, it's going to stop. And we walk out here all the time. So if she's walking, she's going to have a harder time uh, trying to bark at things. Place. She's going to have a harder time trying to bark at things. As you saw me working her here, she wasn't barking at anything because her attention, her attention's on me. No. Place. See, when I pull the leash, she, she's also thinking, oh, does he want me to come off when I pull the leash a little bit? That's why I'm reminding her uh, to use place. So again, I was just kind of checking, hey, place, I was just kind of checking, um, you know, what, what, what she was barking at, but again, I have no idea what she's looking at, but it really doesn't matter, whatever, whatever she's looking at, uh, I have to correct her for it. Yeah.